and welcome to another tech tip video. Today we are going to talk about how to manually update your toolbox. And why you want to know this or why you would do this is if your toolbox is in PDM or for whatever reason your toolbox didn't update when you upgraded SOLIDWORKS. So here I have SOLIDWORKS 2021 open. I'm going to go ahead and click whole wizard and we'll see this error. The whole wizard and advanced whole database is not the expected version. Please upgrade your database to the expected version or choose a new location containing the, the expected version. So we'll see the current version. It says it's 23, and that means it's at 2020, and the expected version is 24, so 2021. I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to go to my system options here, and I'm just going to navigate to the whole wizard toolbox, and it's, we're going to get the same error. I'm just going to click OK, and then double check the location. Okay, so now I've navigated to that location. I'm actually going to go into language, or lang, English, and then here is this SW browser. We're going to right click it and hit properties and we just want to make sure we have read and write permissions as well as it's not set to read only. So now I want to navigate to my installation files which will have the executable that can update the database. For me it's just C, program files, SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS, and then into the toolbox folder and then data utilities. And here we'll have the update browser database.exe. And we're going to right click, run as administrator. And here it's already pointing to a toolbox that is pointed in 2021. And it's going to show that it's at 23 when it, we want it to be to 24. So this is just confirming where that location is. And we're just going to click update. Usually pretty quick. I can go back into SOLIDWORKS here and click on whole wizard, make a hole without any errors. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my system options and I still won't get that error because it's been updated. I'm also going to go back to my file explorer and just run the utility again and you'll see that the database version is at 24 or 2021.